Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'll be discussing GCP Digital Leader Real Exam Questions. And this is part 3 of the series. Before we start, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we upload a video. Question 11. Your manager wants to restrict communication of all virtual machines with internet access, with resources in another network or with a resource outside Compute Engine. As expected, different teams will create new folders and projects in, in the near future. How do you restrict all virtual machines from having an external IP address? So take a minute or so to go through the options. Okay, let's take a look at option D, which is communicate with the different teams and agree that each time each time a virtual machine is created, it must be configured without an external IP address. Okay, so firstly, option D is not reliable uh, reliable at all because there's no guarantee that every each and every person will uh, will make sure to configure the virtual machine without an external IP address. They might you know miss or they just might not want to do it, and they'll end up configuring one with an IP address. So it's not reliable. So option D is not the answer. So I'm just going to put like a cross on option D right here. There we go. Now if you could take a close look, option B and C both mention existing folders and existing projects. Uh, highlight. There we go. But clearly in this part of the question, you can see it is expected that uh, different teams will create new folders and projects in the near future. There we go. Now they're saying that define an organization policy on all existing folders or uh, to define a constraint to restrict virtual machine instances from having an external IP address. So only existing virtual machine instances were, uh, will uh, not have an external IP addresses, address. But what about the new folders or new projects or new instances? So they might have an external IP address. So it's not guaranteed that they won't. So B is not the answer. And for the same reason, C is also not the answer. Uh, a is define an organization policy at the root organization node to restrict virtual machine instances from having an external IP address. That is the answer. Clearly through elimination process since D, C, B, and, uh, D, C, and B are not the answers. So option A is the answer for question 11. Uh, let's head on to question 12. Your multinational organization has service running mission critical workloads on its premises around the world. You want to be able to manage these workloads consistently and centrally, and you want to stop managing infrastructure. What should your organization do? Uh, so, first of all, clearly there's a big keyword here, which is centrally. So, there's, n there's a need for centralization of data. And whenever there's a need for centralization of data, we, the cloud is always the answer, cloud, 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 A. So cloud is in A, so there's public cloud in A, and there's a, there are private clouds in D. So anything other than that uh, will not be the answers. Uh, well, B, migrate the workloads to a central office building is not the answer because you need to manage infrastructure there and it's not cloud. So that is not the answer, so across. And C, migrate the workloads to multiple local co-location facilities. Uh, that is also not the answer because infrastructure management, yes. So that's not the answer. Since there's, well, ideally anything with cloud is the answer. So public cloud and private clouds. So out of these two, A is our answer. Migrate the workloads to a public cloud. Now, why is A the answer? If you look closely, D it says migrate the workloads to multiple, multiple local private clouds, multiple and local. So there's no centralization of data. In public cloud, there's, it's data is in one place, centralization. There's no centralization in D. So we cross up D. So A is the answer. So A is the answer for question 12. Let's move on to question 13. Your organization stores highly sensitive data on premises that cannot be sent over the public internet. That data must be processed both on premises and in the cloud. What should your organization do? Okay, clearly it says highly sensitive data on, prom data on premises that cannot, cannot be sent. So we'll highlight this, cannot be sent over the public internet. So let's go through the options. Option A is configure 
identity, aware proxy, or IAP in your Google Cloud VPC network. B, create a cloud VPN tunnel between Google Cloud and your data center. C, order a partner interconnect connection with your network provider. And D, enable private Google access in your Google Cloud VPC network. Now, ideally, our answer should be C. It's the only one not utilizing the uh, internet, since it clearly says cannot be sent over the public internet. So A and C, A and D actually, which use VPC networks. VPC is basically virtual private cloud network. So it's not the answer for two reasons. So firstly, let's draw a diagram, small diagram. This is the on-prem, not a good diagram, but on-prem, the data has to go to the cloud. And it says the data must be processed both on premises and in the cloud. It has to be processed in both of these places. But we, what VPC does is only it's a virtual private cloud. So it's within the cloud. It's processing the data within the cloud, but not in the on-prem. So that's one of the reasons why these two are not the answers. And also because they utilize the public internet. So we eliminate A and D. So, uh, I put across here since there's a C, there's a highlight on C. So A and D are not the answers. And B, which is create a cloud VPN, virtual private network, tunnel between Google Cloud and your data center. This is not the answer because this also utilizes public internet. Which is, VPN, is, VPN tunnel is basically a tunnel within the network, within the public internet. So that is not the answer. Since we uh, says cannot be sent over the public internet. That's why C, uh, which is order a partner interconnect connection with your network provider is, is the answer. Uh, in C, a partner interconnect connection is basically like a direct connection. This, uh, this pipes right here, like wires that directly send the data there, and there's like there's no uh, access to it. There's rarely any access to this data. It's very secure, so it's preven it prevents access to the highly sensitive data, and it's also not over the internet. So C is the answer for question 13. Heading on to question 14. The organization uses Active Directory to authenticate users. Users' Google account access must be removed when their directory account is terminated. How should your organization meet this requirement? Let's read the options. A is configure two-factor authentication in the Google domain. B is remove the Google account from all IAM policies. C, configure beyond corp and identity aware proxy in the Google domain. And D is configure single sign-on in the Google domain. So the simplest way to understand this question is you have a subscription, suppose a network or a YouTube premium subscription, and it expires because you didn't pay. So the Netflix, taking the uh, example of Netflix, Netflix makes, needs to make sure that you cannot access their content from the same account. Well, you can't access their content because you haven't paid. So that is essentially what the question is asking in the simplest words. So A, which is configured two-factor authentication, the Google domain is not going to do anything. It is a security measure and it's there to make sure that the right person is using the right account. Basically, you give your password, then you give your email or you give your phone number uh, to receive an OTP, a PIN code, so that you can enter that and finally enter your account. But that's that's not helpful here. So A is not the answer, so we'll cross out A like this. B, remove the Google Cloud from all IAM policies. IAM is basically a role provider. It gives out roles to each account, each person. So, but this is also not an option. It's not uh, needed here. There's no need for this here. So, remove the Google account from all IAM policies is also not the answer. So, let's cross that out. C is configure Beyond Corp and Identity Aware Proxy in the Google domain. Beyond Corp is also a security measure. So whole thing is a security measure. Identity aware proxy and identifies a person. This is also not needed. C is also not needed because this is C is also not the answer because uh, 
secure it's related to security measures. There's no need for security measures in this question. So let's cross out C. And then there's D. You just configure single sign-on in the Google domain. So naturally, that's the answer. But what is configure single sign-on? Because basically, you enter your account, you give your password, and that's the only time you will give your password. That's the only sign-in that you'll need. After that sign-in, you don't need to sign in ever again. So what that ensures is that once your account is terminated, uh, your Google access is also removed. You won't be able to sign in again after that. You're automatically removed once account is terminated. So for question 14, D is our answer. Let's head on to question 15, which will be the last question of this part. What would provide near unlimited availability of computing resources without requiring your organization to procure and provision new equipment? Let's highlight the keywords. It would provide near unlimited, near unlimited availability of computer computing resources. So from this line itself, you you'll know that it's a cloud. It's either the public cloud, or it's either the private cloud. Now, in the next part of the question, without requiring your organization to pro without requiring your organization to procure and provision your equipment, you don't want. To the organization doesn't want to procure and provision new equipment. So out of public cloud and private cloud, our answer is public cloud because in private cloud, organizations have to procure and provision new equipment. So public and in public cloud, they don't. So public cloud is the answer. So for question 15, A, public cloud is our answer. All right, guys. So that was the end of this part. Before we head on to the next video, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we upload a video or the next part to a series. That was the end of part 3 of GCP Digital Leader Real Exam Questions. See you in the next video.